प्रणाम गुरु जी प्रणाम एक्चुअली एज देर आर नो क्वेश्चन कैन आई आस्क समिंग गुरुजी इन अवेयरनेस वन डिफरेंस इज नोटेड दैट लेट से प्रीवियसली इफ आई वॉच ए मूवी देन द सीन्स ऑफ मूवी विल कीप ऑन कमिंग इन टू द एक्सपीरियंस फॉर लेट से टू और थ्री डेज अहेड देन बट नाउ इन अवेयरनेस वट एवर एक्सपीरियंस आई गो थ्रू देन दैट एक्सपीरियंस इज डिजोल्व देन एंड देयर so uh, uh, my question would be that uh, when we were not in awareness then one single experience keeps on attaching or keeps on uh, uh, repeating again and again just uh, it gets reminded even very small experiences but uh, in awareness the repetition does not occur so uh, what can you say on that guruji i think if it happens if the experience are recalled then it is okay and if they are not recalled so often then also it is okay it is not that important now why this is happening there can be few reasons i think right now i can think of a reason that uh, initially a lot of uh, importance was given to the movies and stories and whatever events happened around you and now that importance is dropped now even your whole life looks like a dream so it's not important anymore and obviously the movies and the stories and whatever is of no importance at all so it stops uh, repeating it's the recall is stopped and because of the awareness the tendency is to stop the unwanted or the um, unnecessary this is the tendency i have to have seen this that if it is unnecessary we don't even want to think it you know even there is no need to do it obviously but even the thinking about it is dropped because of increase of awareness so these can be two or three reasons for it more peace we prefer more peace in the mind instead of more crowd or more noise when we see that in the movies or the events or even discussions with people they don't remain in our mind for long because it was not so important that which is important you will never forget so the energy gets focused on that which is necessary that which is not so necessary will be forgotten this must be yes minakshi is saying i have the same experience yes even i have the same experience that let's say you are you are in a discussion with somebody and something goes wrong there the fellow insults you or you say something bitter truth and they don't like it and this impression the bitterness used to remain with me for a week at least that oh this happened it should shouldn't have happened my mistake or somebody else's mistake next time i'll show him you know that remained for me for a week and now it goes away in probably one day so more peace happens because there is more awareness similarly the events that gave you happiness will also disappear it is not partial to only negative it is impartial the awareness is impartial even that which made you very very happy is no longer there is no juice in that nowadays nowadays means when you get awareness so it levels of everything this is my experience and probably it is the experience of everybody that you are not excited too much when something good happens and you are not depressed too much when something bad happens it is not that you will not feel it you will feel it full intensity <laughs> but you know the awareness also rises in full intensity besides it you get the intensity in the life but you lose the drama of the life this is the fascinating thing like some people have the complaint that i'll become a rock i'll become a machine after the self realization knowing fully that all my emotions feelings desires thoughts are just mechanisms or they are illusions there will be nothing in my life and you will see that this is only a ignorant point of view because it has not happened to that person he is simply imagining these things assuming this is the point of view of the ego 
because it has known only the drama but as soon as you enter awareness you will see that exactly opposite happens intensity of everything increases your sensitivity increases to everything but somehow cannot affect you somehow it is forgotten forgiven and marked as unnecessary you smile and walk away so <laughs> these things or even if you do something which you do you usually do for your happiness and so on parties and whatever and when you remember these things they look like childish not much weight is attached to it why must do it again to get the same experience no we just simply accept it oh it was very nice and we move on if it happens again very good if it does not happen again no problem something else will happen weightlessness unstickiness clarity light comes in the life brightness comes in the life because of this awareness and will it um, fix all your physical problems mental problems uh, material problems family problems no not at all it makes you immune that's all it will do it makes you immu- immune it is not going to fix anything outside there are exceptions that can happen you see but that is a different story but the immediate uh, effect of awareness is it makes us totally immune to the drama of maya and now we can walk very lightly in the life now the other part yeah uh, actually sir uh, ji since childhood uh, the exercises and uh, yoga exercises make me always delighted but in awareness this interesting thing, thing has happened that even the exercises and any simple things we do for having a healthy body even the effect of that is also reduced no such delight and you know the intensity of the or the after effects of doing exercises the pleasure from the body even the intensity of that has reduced to just like we are drinking water or something yes and it is not a big problem at all yes not big thing so it is not that their effect will be reduced see if you are going to gym you are doing yoga or something to make the body fit and all it will produce very good effect there is no doubt about it but probably your attachment to it has decreased now it no longer gives you the that pleasure which it used to give that is all has happened detachment has happened but uh, the effect will be there there is nothing to worry about these things if you are doing any exercises or physical fitness things well, they are not going to be ineffective only that whatever happiness they were giving you are no longer dependent on these activities for happiness because you have found the source of happiness within you have found the bliss within now the mind has no need to run after the external things it drops it so it will happen to many people nothing to worry it's all be all very natural now why will i eat if i don't get any pleasure out of it you will eat don't worry the life will not become abnormal but if your dinner is delayed by 10 minutes you won't become anxious you won't become angry <laughs> if your favorite thing is not cooked in the dinner that day no problem at all you will be blissful you will eat that whatever is served so if these things are they don't they lose all the importance the pettiness is dropped and that is why i think it is like this yes muni is also saying most things which are really significant are not important yes it is like our childhood when all these toys were very important i know i collected all the shells from the uh, sand the sand they used to drop for construction purposes i used to go and dig there for shells and they were very important for me and i collected a lot of them and uh, when uh, you know you grow old a little bit and then i saw the worthlessness of that it was no more important it is the effect of growing up i just threw it away or gave it to other children <laughs> and uh, there, there was no attachment to all those things again so it is the effect of growing up as you are progressing on the spiritual path you can say progressing because you see it is just refinement so as you are getting refined that is equal to growing up aging process 
and you will lose attachment or to all those things which were totally important for you now you see them as just just there it is just there no okay. nick has something has anyone become more forgetful when it comes to daily chores work or other activities i think there used to be more rumination over these things and there's more vigilance there is more freedom of happiness okay yes there can be a side effect like this that you become so careless that you forget sometimes that uh, you have some uh, worldly duties also it can happen the bliss is probably so much that you prefer to sit instead of doing something that especially those things which are which look like a burden we forget them not today tomorrow and the tomorrow never comes so that can be side effect but uh, nothing to worry on the 11th hour <laughs> it will happen so you will remember you will forget once twice and then you get bitten by your mistakes and then you will note it down you will remember it without kicking yourself that without scolding yourself you know something went wrong with me i am not behaving properly these days not like this you will say that okay this also happened i'll ensure that this never happens again so yes many few things happened with everybody you see but i don't think it is a major effect of being in awareness actually the effect should be reverse that now you become more attentive now the mistakes don't happen now the forgetting does not happen and if it happens for minor things like you forgot to buy something for your kitchen for your house it happens all the time nothing to worry but uh, <laughs> you are going to take a major decision in your life and you do a mistake there that will not happen that will not never happen because of this amazing intelligence that has arrived now is growing now now you will know exactly what to do without anybody telling you you know exactly what to do in your life plus you can even guide others you can tell others what to do the wisdom grows so much it is a direct consequence of knowledge and remember this will never happen in any other path only on the path of knowledge the whole and complete development happens only after knowledge not by twisting your bodies or stopping your breathing or worshiping of deities nothing it they don't make you grow at all it is it all turns into mindless rituals and superstitions so i have seen a major change in myself when i came on the path of knowledge before that <laughs> it was a endless train of stupidities compulsion after compulsion impulse after impulse decisions that were stupid and looked very smart and so on you see so look at the bigger thing look at the wisdom you have gained forget about the small things which which are tiny effects i can't remember the movie no problem at all you remember who you are that's all is important